and today I'm doing the slash world border and uh, command and a new game rule added since my ultimate command book tutorial 2.0 the, now I'm probably gonna put an annotation in that video so if you're there from here these are the two new commands that have been added since then and uh, yeah I'll just really quickly show them to you so this is slash world border now what this command is gonna allow you to do is to set a border for your world so that for like custom maps and also that people can go out of the map too far so first of all you're gonna need to set the center of your world border now you need to specify an X and a Z coordinate so let's do F3 and set our center at right here 179 minus 82 now this this exact block is now our world border wait just a minute so now we what we can do is slash world border set and then how big we want to be so if I set it to 5 it will be 5 blocks like this in um, I just go I guess just in width and all that stuff if we set it to 50 from that wall from that wall to that wall will be 50 blocks so uh, yeah pretty cool as you can see this is just the texture of the wall Ooh, took a screenshot um, and yeah you can't walk past it it's in the middle of the block so you can kind of walk through it but you can't walk past it so yeah that can be really useful for custom maps it goes up and up and up and you I think it just goes up until the 265 which is the build limit and next it was added a new game rule so this new game rule uh, allows you to make crops and all that kind of stuff grow faster so let me just get some stuff for that like um, some water we have some grass here have a potato and also grab a sapling maybe so yes what we can do is just put a little farm here like really little farm but yes as you know growing doesn't go really fast but if we do slash game rule random tick speed we can set the speed up to a lot because it's at 3 now if you put li at like 200 you can see that's going really quick and then the potato should grow really quick too now in this world stuff will start growing really fast and uh, yeah I don't want to create oh you see it's already grown if I put to like 2000 it might lag a little bit but oh no actually not so yeah but watch out if you have a really big farm because then this might lag out your computer because everything is growing so fast so yeah you see that's growing really quick now let's uh, plant a sapling Wait, I put I got a or dark oak sapling. Let's actually just do an oak sapling because that's just normal tree. And poof, tree. That's really quick. And there we go. So yeah, that's a really cool uh, game roof to speed up like farming processes. So what you can do is like um, in adventure map, you can simulate time going by just by just putting saplings there and then putting the random tick speed up and then putting it back to normal again so uh, to simulate time passing by that would be a cool idea maybe so yeah all kinds of cool stuff the game rule and the world border commands really useful tools and that was it for this video just wanted to quickly show you new commands added, added since the last command block tutorial goodbye and I'll see you next time hello I'm back um, yeah, well, actually, the video is still going, but um, I was about to upload this when I saw the new snapshot with some updates for the World Border Command. So, um, actually, I think I missed this one. This one was already here, I guess. So, what this does is wor so World Border set 10, 10. So, this is gonna set the World Border to 10 in 10 seconds. You see, it starts getting smaller until it's to 10 oh crap yes now it's 10 so let's just set that back out because I cannot get to my command blocks anymore so let's just set that to 50 
Yo, yeah, I could also like have it expand 50 in 10 seconds. But it's already 50, yay. Set it to 100 in 10 seconds. And as you can see, it's going pretty fast. It will expand and expand and expand and go. Now let's just set that back to 50 just because it's easy and then we have a slash world border warning time too so um when i set the that time to two and i have it do that again when it gets close to me two seconds before it's going to oh crap what it should do is two seconds before it hits me it should um, warn me, uh, my screen should go red, but I've probably got my video settings too low. Crap. I have smooth lighting on, is that it? Sorry. But, uh, oh, where the hell did my world border go? Oh, it's really big. It's really big. So yeah, let's try this again, if it gets close. My screen should get red. I'm not seeing it get red, but that might just be because of my settings. That must be at graphics. Um, yeah, it's pretty gosh darn red. All right, let's do this one more time. Sorry, I just have my video settings pretty low. So this is what this does is it when it's gonna is two seconds away from hitting me. Uh, my screen will turn red to warn me so as you can see it's getting pretty gosh darn red uh, and now it's good and let's set that back to be big again now you can do the same but then with a distance so when now when it's two blocks away from hitting me it will warn me let's actually change this to 40 so that I don't have to change it too much all the time so if the world borders about there that's when my screen will turn red yeah so yep and then we have world border damage amount one so basically that said uh, that's um if i'm one block outside of the world border i will take one damage a second if I'm two blocks out, I will take two damage a second. And you can also just set it so that whenever someone gets outside of the world border, um, he just gets killed immediately. So yeah, that's also, and you can also do the buffer. So that's how long somebody, when now you won't take damage until you're more than five blocks outside of the world border. But I really can't test this because you really just can't get out of the world border that's the whole point unless it shrinks and you get left behind out of the world border so this basically um i don't know if you know the server but mindplex has got a hunger game system where after a while the freeze comes everything turns to snow and you take damage when it hits you this basically allows you to create the same mechanism you can after um if a hunger games takes too long you can make the world border smaller and have everyone outside of the world border who isn't getting away fast enough get killed so yeah that's a uh, pretty cool that you can um, configure that and uh, yeah that was basically it for the world border command and the random tick speed but uh, yes that's it also nothing goodbye